Here we are. How is everybody doing? Wonderful. How are you doing? Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Thank you so much, Renee. Oh, my goodness. Hey, before we get started, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there on Facebook land. Thank you for joining us today. I am so excited for our guest today. But before we get to her, Julie, Leah, how are you ladies doing today? Doing good, Chief. Did you like our new intro? I, man, that was awesome. Who, who created that? That was pretty cool. It was good. That was worth. Worth? Video. Yep. Wow, that was awesome. Well, thank you so much, Worth. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Was well, it? liked it. Was it super dope, Chief? It was super. <laughs> it was, it's as dope as Renee's jacket. Look at that jacket, everyone. Look For at real. That. Isn't that cool? That's her grandfather's jacket. Look at that. Yes. If you're watching and you liked our new little sizzle reel open, let us know. Share that with us. What's yes. your feedback? Please. So, hey, let's get right to it. Judy, you mind introducing our guest? We are so excited about today's musical guest. We connected with her through our friends at Bose. She woo. is a new, yes, woohoo, shout out. <laughs> she <laughs> is a newcomer to country music, but her love for those who serve our nation has long been going strong. She's here today to talk about her personal hero, her personal military hero, and lift our spirits with her music. Please help us welcome country singer Renee Blair. Thank you guys for having me. I'm, I'm really excited. I've been dreaming of this day for a lot longer than you probably have any idea. So I'm, oh. I'm really excited. Aww. That's Love really that. sweet. That is so Thanks. sweet. <laughs> I'm Thanks calling it my Maryland funny. moment, but it's from the comfort of my living room. So it's extra, <laughs> extra comfortable and fabulous. <laughs> Good deal. Thank you for joining us, Renee. We're really happy and excited to have you. And for everybody watching, uh, be sure to leave some love for Renee in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. And if you enjoy these chief chats as much as we do, then be sure to follow us so you'll know who's coming up next. Um, and if you want to watch this with your friends, uh, now will be a good time to start your watch party. Well, Renee, let's get this going. It's terrific to meet you. It's a pleasure to have you join us today. I'm so excited. Before we get into your music, we'd yep. love to know more about you. Tell us about yourself, where you grew up, and where you are now. Well, I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and the reason my family was there, my mom you know, grew up as a military brat, so she moved, I think, seven or eight times when she was young, but my grandpa was working at Scott Air Force Base in Illinois, just right outside of St. Louis, and then once he retired from the military, he worked as the director of the St. Louis airport for 25 years. And so my mom and my family settled in St. Louis, which is where I grew up, but I had a love of country music. I think there's a video of me in diapers singing achy breaky heart. And um, so I've just, I've been a fan of country music uh, my entire life. And I've been coming here for about 13 years now and lived here for over a decade, you know, chasing this crazy dream. But I do, I host a radio show on Tuesday and Fridays here in Nashville. And my co-host Cassie is also um, a former army member. And she was telling me this morning, cause I was talking to her about how I've been in Nashville for so long. And I, we were talking about me coming on here today and how long it's taken me. And I was like, well, I think the thing my grandpa instilled in me the most is to never quit. And she goes, well, that's in the soldier's creed. What every soldier has to say it says in there there's no such thing as quit and so I was like well this makes perfect sense because he certainly instilled that in me um, of never giving up and working really hard so it's funny I joke that it's taken me over 10 years to become the new girl in Nashville <laughs> but I've paid my dues I've, I've worked really hard and I I think my grandpa is the reason why after you know hundreds of no's in this town, I, I, I still keep going because I have a true passion for it. And I really attribute that to him, so. That's awesome. Hey, Renee, before we keep going, who, you mind introducing, uh, uh, there's somebody in the background there with a guitar. Yes. This is my guitar player, also my little brother. So we have been out on the road opening for everyone from Willie Nelson to Billy Currington and a lot of other country acts over the last year. And we get in a car together and have been driving cross country and, yeah, just we've, we've seen a lot of things, but it's really exciting. I'm very lucky and honored to have my brother be able to play for me. He's also one of the best guitar players in Nashville. He's quite the shredder. <laughs> what's, what's the age difference between you two? 
Um, almost four years. We're both born in August. So just shy of four. When's your birthday? August what? Can you share I'm that? I'm August 27th. He is August 9th. Oh, close. Mine's the 23rd. That's why I was asking. Okay. Are you on? Okay. So 23rd, the first day of Virgo? Yes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to start reading horoscopes now. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yes. Well, I've also, um, I'm not sure if you want to dive in now or we can do it after the music, but I had my mom drive up to St. Louis to get some of my grandpa's memorabilia for you guys that I thought you would think was really cool. Yeah, actually now is a good time. Uh, we were just going to transition over to that. So we'd love to hear about your grandfather, uh, Colonel Leonard Griggs. Yeah. He's a silver star, purple heart, distinguished flying cross recipient. Um, what can you share with us about him? Okay. Also, I've done a lot of research within the last week, but if I mess up any of the lingo, please don't hold that against me. I can tell you all about chord progressions and anything music you want to know, but I know that this is not my area of expertise as much, but I'll do my best. So this is the first thing I want to show you, which is his portrait from Vietnam. Oh my goodness. Close, you will see that. what is in his pocket. Now that's a little mouse and I'm going to tell you the story about that. My mom was about six years old when he left for Vietnam and the night before he left, he took them to a carnival and got, he had three daughters. He got them all a little trinket to, you know, keep close to them on their bed table or anything while he was gone. And my mom said she was too young to really understand what it meant for my grandpa to leave, but he bought her this little mouse that you pull the wheels back and then it rides forward. <laughs> And she put it in his um, suitcase and said, keep this with you at all times. It will keep you safe. And so I have that mouse with me here today. Oh. And um, oh my God, I have chills even telling this story, but it goes full circle even cooler. When my mom was pregnant with me, she in her early 20s was a flight attendant for TWA. And on her first flight, once she became a stewardess, he snuck this in her suitcase and said, keep this with you. It will keep you safe. So this, this mouse has been in our family for, gosh, maybe 40 or 50 years. And then also his dog tag. So anytime we fly, that's kind of our family tradition is to pass the mouse around. Oh, oh my god! That like is gonna make special. me cry, and yeah, I, so I'm I not just, quite I sure it's why. So but cool, though, that in his official <laughs> portrait, he has the mouse sticking out oh, of his pocket. Oh, I see it. Oh, it says <laughs> from um '68. So this painting was painted in '68. We need to go back Flesh. to doing portraits for military members, man. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. That was fancy. You need to sit for years, Chief. Question for you, Renee. Do you know that, do you know if he's received his Vietnam veteran commemoration pin? Um, if it's not on here, I'm not sure, but this is the big uh, case. Let me turn this ring light off right here so that you guys can stop flashing back at you. But um, so this is his video. metal case. Oh oh my super star. Goodness. Yeah, star. Purple heart. Purple heart. Wow. Okay. And so I know that this is called an air medal and yes. he's got apparently two of them over here, but he won so many little leaves or clusters that they add to the air medal. Yeah, and what was, um, actually, maybe you could come help me hold this. Okay. So um, when my mom went to St. Louis last weekend to talk to my grandpa about this, he's 89 years old and he's in a wheelchair now, sadly, and had a stroke last year, but it's amazing when you ask him to recite something, Cadet, from his mm -hmm. West Point days, he snaps right back into it and can recall everything. But when you ask him about his medals, to me, the sign of just how amazing he is in his training, I asked him how he won some of these. And in true soldier fashion, he said, I was just doing my job. So to <laughs> him, even his, like the silver star and the purple heart, the way he talks about them, he doesn't want any special recognition or treatment for winning that or being awarded them. He truly just says like, that was my job. And then one fun fact I did learn about him was that supposedly he was personally in charge of, I guess, 17,000 troops in Vietnam because he was a, a colonel and he was a fighter pilot. And so I guess it was his job to say where they're supposed to fly on their missions and tell his soldiers or his pilots where to go. And most of the people in his position would sit back and let the men go out and do their job. And he refused. He was the lead fighter pilot and 
was like, didn't have to go on the plane, but he did anyways. And they all followed behind him. And so he was just a true, true leader. And I'm, I'm just so obsessed with him. He is my hero and my favorite person on earth. And I just, I love my grandpa. And he actually said to tell all of the soldiers that he thinks his favorite thing about being in the army and a West Point grad is that it makes you a better U.S. citizen. That is amazing. That is a really, I love that. Thank you for sharing something so personal with all of us. I can tell how much you love your grandfather just by looking at your face. Yes, and, thank, um, you. thank you. Definitely, thank you so much. A soldier, soldier. Definitely a soldier, soldier. Lots of uh, likes and loves out there, out there, Renee. A lot of people watching right now. Great story. I love hearing about it. So thank you so much. So let's transition. You said, you just said your grandfather told everyone you know, you love this time at the academy, you know, uh, and of course, serving our great nation. So thank you to your grandfather for everything he's done. And of course, right, it makes you a better citizen. So what yeah. words of encouragement do you have for all the airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, and military families out there? What words of inspiration do you have for all of our heroes? You know, gosh, I would say anything you could do to keep your spirits up, whether, you know, that comes in all forms. To me, laughter is the best medicine. So anything you can mm -hmm. do to, to boost the morale of you and the people around you, keep laughing, crack jokes, and just try to make the best of your days, whatever that may look like for you. But to me, definitely laughter is key. So, um, you know, I guess I'm a musician, but deep down I secretly think I wish I was a stand-up comedian, which <laughs> I'm not. But, um, you know, anything you can do to boost the spirits of those around you, I think is the best gift that you can give. So. You, if you want comedy, you are definitely talking to the right three yes. people because we yes. think we're hilarious. We I don't do. know if anybody awesome. does, but we do. <laughs> well, and we're fast friends then. That's amazing. <laughs> Julie so, and I love to laugh too. So you'll find that a lot we, around uh, here. Make people angry. They try to mute us, but we can't be silenced. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's amazing. I, mean, I guess you could technically silence us, but why would you want to? I don't know. <laughs> Your grandfather, he had a storied career, and I bet he spent some time in the PX while he was serving. So the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, we are mission essential. We've been mission essential during the pandemic, and our stores are open to take care of military communities and folks like your grandfather. Do you have any words of hope for our associates worldwide? There are 33,000 of them. Um, they've been serving nonstop during this time, and they'd love to hear some words of hope from you. Yes, I think the first thing that obviously comes to mind is just thank you. I'm so grateful that you guys doing what you do is makes it easier for me to do what I do. And I'm just so appreciative beyond words for all of that. And I wish I could be there and meet you guys personally. And I hope to one day. That's It's a big dream of mine to maybe do a little army tour and go around and play for the troops in person once we can get back to doing that. But yes, I just I send all of you all the love I can give and all the thanks and appreciation because you deserve it. <laughs> you so here we go we're gonna get into some music right now right Woo! Now. all can right you us, can you tell us how you started your career and about your debut ep the ones to slow dance to yes so i started coming to nashville about 15 years ago as a little girl to write songs and get my foot in the door and then Unfortunately, I had a couple tragic accidents back to back where I almost lost my life. I fell asleep at the wheel at three in the afternoon after a long night of studying oh in college and um, had my mouth wired shut for 12 weeks. And then six months after that, I was in a worse accident out on a boat. I was thrown off of an inner tube and I have a 13 inch plate in my arm. It's hockey stick shaped. So that's the plate. Wow. Oh my and goodness. Again, that's that's my grandpa's resilient mentality in me is you never quit. You keep going no matter how hurt you are. The the goal the the dream has to be bigger than you. So as I was in the hospital and in and out of surgeries and recovering, the thing that truly kept me going was my love for music. And I remember being such a young girl and a lot of people in the industry were like, Well, you need to grow up a little bit. You're 19. You probably don't have much to say or many life experiences. And I think the accidents that I was in really changed my character and helped me be more selfless as an artist. So now I write for other people. When I'm in a bad mood, what kind of things do I need said to me? What do I want to hear? And so I've really transitioned that into my writing. And I just, I feel like I'm more of a selfless artist. So I'm very, very grateful for the accidents that I had because they, they helped shape who I am today. 
Um, and through that, once I was finally put back together and normal, I started writing, got a record deal, started touring. And so this EP, have any of you guys seen the TV show Friends? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Maybe. So the... <laughs> <laughs> so each episode of Friends doesn't have a real title. It's the one where Phoebe falls or the one this. So as I've been writing for years and years in Nashville, I had some songs that were a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And so this album is going to be called The Ones and I've broken it up into chapters. So the first three were ballads because it was winter. It was easy to cozy up or cozy on up and snuggle with your lover. So those are the ones to slow dance to. And then now we've got the ones for summer. So I just released a song actually on Friday called Heating Up My Summer. And that's the second little chapter to this album, The Ones. But I'm I'm very, very excited. I have gone out on the road a lot in the last year and started to see the way the fans react to certain songs more than others. So I really kind of let the fans dictate what is going on the album, which everyone's left them cheering or left them crying. And so, yeah, it's been really, really exciting last year. Awesome. So speaking of heating up summer, is that, would you want to play that yes. for us? We'd love to hear it. I would love to play that for you guys. You ready, bro? All right. If for whatever reason you guys can't fully hear us, just like, give me like the volume crank button and we'll, we'll go from there. But this is a really fun summer song. It's really flirty and I hope you like it. It's hot. It's hell already triple digits. My drink melts before I even sip it. Something tells me it ain't about to cool off anytime soon. With the way that you undress me with your eyes, it ain't even true. Before I know that I, I want you heating up my summer, keeping me up all night. Don't you dare go make me wonder what you see is like. Baby, don't you wanna put your hands on my body with the sun? Don't tell me. I want you heating up my summer, 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 summer. I want you heating up my summer. My friend's friend's apartment's got a pool and she said, he said that it would be cool if we sneak in. We can all summer long, all summer long. I want to be shopping in your jeans. I want to be smoking all the weed. I want you getting SPF and all the spots that I carry. I want you heating up my summer, keeping me up all night. Don't you dare go make me wonder what kissing is like. Baby, don't you want to put your hands on my body with the sun, don't tell me I want you heating up my summer, 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 summer. I want you heating up my summer. Summer, 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 summer. Summer, 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 summer. I want you heating up my summer, keeping me up all night. Don't you dare go make me wonder what you see is like. Baby, don't you want to put your hands on my body with the sun? Don't tell. I want you heating up my summer, 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 summer. I want you heating up my summer. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. The official summer jam. I think so. We just shot a pretty uh, sassy video for it last week too. I jumped in a pool in my clothes and uh, <laughs> it's going to be really fun. <laughs> that was terrific, Renee. I, I really, really liked that. And you're getting some great feedback on Facebook. Um, Lori says, add it to my playlist. Yay, and Lori. <laughs> Love you, girl. <laughs> and Michael is watching from Fort Huachuca, Arizona. He just wanted you to know that he's watching. And let's see, we have 
I, my comments are being weird. I know we have people watching in Germany right now as well, which is pretty cool. So my grandpa's wife was born and raised in Germany until she was about 30. So, um, She's a spectacular woman with the funniest accent and I love her so much. So thank you from Germany for watching. Do you ever get back? Do you get back to St. Louis very much or? I'm actually going to go this weekend to return the medals to my grandpa and see him. But I, I usually go for holidays, but we've been on the road so much that, and then we had quarantine. Yes. So we can't really go anywhere. <laughs> I have I've to be back there as much as I can. I still have, my dad still lives on a farm a little bit outside of St. Louis. So I definitely try to get back as much as I can. I love St. Louis. I have a shrine to the St. Louis Cardinals in my background. Um, my no husband way. And, yes, okay. we're big fans. So no. I am one of the all-time biggest, biggest St. Louis Cardinals fans. And you will appreciate this then. A couple of years ago, I got to go out to dinner with Tony La Russa. Love Tony La Russa. Yes. That, where did, that's fantastic. That's amazing. Where did yeah, you guys was, go? Somewhere good? Some were very good. It was called Giovanni's in Nashville, a very nice Italian restaurant, but he was the first person that ever taught me about wine. <laughs> I was like so young, I could hardly drink and he got this very nice bottle and was like, this is what you should look for or shouldn't look for. I was like, thank you, Tony La Russa. I will remember this. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> oh my, wow. Yeah, definitely a summer song. I was looking up the lyrics while you were singing it. Uh, just to, just. To, it's going to be a summer song. I'm not going to mention more. Look up the lyrics if you didn't listen Thank to Thank you. I, yeah. I'm very, very excited for it. A lot of people have been telling me it gives them Katy Perry Teenage Dream vibes, which is like my favorite song of all time. So I'll take it. Yeah. If that's what it's making you feel, I think we're in the right direction. Oh, it's there. It's there. Definitely up, uplifting, upbeat, you know, something that kind of gets you jumping, something that kind of gets you moving. Uh, Woo! I'm sure, you know, that, that's just a good song. I'm sure with the whole ensemble, it, it sounds, I got to Go check out the video once it's out. Oh, thank video you. I'm glad you like it. That means a lot. Thank you. When is the video dropping? Is it out? Hopefully, hopefully sometime next week. I've been getting little clips from the videographer and they are just so freaking cool. <laughs> and, and somebody asked really quick, what's your Instagram? I, I'm, I'm going to ask it at the end again, but can you mention it right now for someone who just asked? Yes, it's at Renee Blair on Instagram and then all other socials. It is at Renee Blair Music. Bam, there you go, everyone. You heard it right there. So follow if you're online right now. And I honestly, I love to hear from people. So please, if you enjoy this, message me. I'd love to chat with you and talk to you. I, I, it's one of my favorite things. Michael you says, have... Michael, oh, you got it, Leah? Go ahead. No, I, I don't see that one. You go ahead. Uh, Michael, Michael Z Zier, Zier, sorry if I mispronounced your name, sir. He said, found her on Apple Music and added, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, so. he also said, go Cubs go. So I don't really want to trust that comment. Just saying. Listen, I just miss baseball in general right now. So Same. it doesn't matter. We're all baseball fans here. You got it. Julie, Julie, Julie's a fanatic. I think she goes to like every game. We were supposed mm -hmm. to go to St. Louis next week, actually, for a series, but obviously we are not. So um yeah, we, we're a big baseball fan. My have my husband and son and I are huge baseball fans. So and we we love the Cardinals, but that's okay. We are happy to spend time with you today, um, Renee. Awesome. Well, maybe next year we'll all get to go to a Cardinals game together. I hope mm -hmm. so. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you have a comment. There is someone, Carcano Burn, who says, my name's Bernice. I just added you on Instagram watching from Monterey, California. Oh, nice to meet you. I, we can chat later. I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, Renee, what's ahead of you, especially as restrictions around the nation ease? What's going on? Any tours planned so far? Are you still... Are you still hesitant? What, what's the status? Um, you know, I was supposed to be gone most of this summer and until the late fall, it looks like everything is off and shut down, which it makes me sad because my favorite part of my job truly is touring and being on the road. I love getting one-on-one -on -one with the fans and hugging them. And it just, like I said, that's my favorite part of the job. So I am a little bit sad about that, but I think all things considered, this will probably be the only summer now I'm at home a lot. So I'm going to try and enjoy it while it lasts and soak it up. I got a little bit of a green thumb during this quarantine. I did lots of planting and my flowers or my babies. So, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of it like we all are, I'm sure. A quick question here from Chris Ward. Uh, I believe he asks, did I miss it? Who would you most who would you most like to do a duet with? I believe that was the, the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Good question. Um, you know, the last few years, I've loved a lot of the music Bruno Mars put out. I think it'd be cool to venture outside of country. I would love 
Bruno Mars, but female wise, gosh, Dolly Parton or Beyonce might be a tie. <laughs> you said Dolly Parton and, and Beyonce? Yeah, they're a tie. I just think they're both like the coolest women I could think of. They're awesome. Hey, John, John Bayer. Spectrum. John Bayer says, uh, found Renee on Spotify too. Awesome. Thank yep. you. Guys. Everybody's checking out your music, looking at That's amazing. somebody said Apple and now Spotify. So speaking of music, um, we'd love to hear about handsome. And then if you want to play that for us, we'd love it. Yes, this is, um, I got to find my pick. It's okay. I don't need it. Um, but handsome is probably my favorite song I've ever written. It's a little tough as a female writer. I think sometimes the men have a wider vocabulary with how they can explain their women because we can wear little black dresses, Daisy Dukes, hair, you know, your hair curled or up in a ponytail or she looks good with no makeup on. And I was really struggling with how I could compliment a man in a song other than just like, you're hot or you're a stud. And, you know, um, so the simplest form is handsome because I do believe and think men want to be complimented just as much as women. And so this is my little flirty love song called Handsome. Well, and this, to I, would you, like Chief. To, I would like to dedicate this, yes, to, to you, Chief, and to all the soldiers out there, all those handsome men that are putting their life on the line for us. So this Compliments is Compliments all around, everyone. <laughs> everyone else. You made Chief blush. For all of you, everyone uh, out in the man. All, 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 oh all God, good, good, good. So soldier sailors airmen marines all of you coasties this song's for you yes he buys me flowers when it ain't been my birthday Fills the bathtub when he knows I've had the worst day. When I'm talking, I can tell he's really listening. Even when I'm bitching, he knows how to fix it with the right thing to say. Calling out of the blue just to see how I'm doing. My mom was in love with my daddy. That ain't enough. Thank you. 
Thank you guys. That was beautiful. I would say that was handsome, but it doesn't quite work. But that was a beautiful song. I really liked that. Your voice is gorgeous. Love it. Thank love it. You. Love it. Love it. You're getting great feedback on Facebook. Um, Jose says, great show. Um, and then Michael commented again and said, he's never seen the show before, but he likes it. So thank you for helping, thank you, guys. you know, helping lift some spirits. Um, my new, hey, hey, Julie, that's my new morning song. Now I'm gonna listen to that so I can get my, feel good about myself. <laughs> yeah, it gets me in my feels. So I hope it does for you. Hey, did you see that question, Julie, from Marissa? I saw it scroll by and now I need to go find it again. She Here says, what's your songwriting process like? Yep. What's your songwriting process like? Do you collaborate with others when writing? Yes, I co-write a lot of my, or most of, all of my music. But you know, every day is different in Nashville. It, if you're an employed songwriter, you kind of treat it like a nine to five as far as you have a right scheduled every single day from Monday through Friday, typically. And some days you're searching for an idea and you got nothing, but you just write something. And then some days you got your heart broke the night before and you go in crying. And those are the best songs. Or the, I've found the best material for me is when I'm just at rock bottom and I get to put it into music. It helps me get better. And then also someone else is going through a similar situation. My hope is that they can relate to it. So I try to write from the most honest part of my soul. Sometimes I maybe share things that I wouldn't have when I first moved here, but the older I get, I realize the, the more honest and vulnerable I can be, I think it better serves the fans and the listeners. So um, yeah, I try to be very, very honest with my music. That's outstanding. We have a Kent Pay says, put your shoes on, hug your brother for me. That. <laughs> That's my dad. Is that your dad? <laughs> Thank you, dad. He, my dad is the jokester. Remember earlier when I said the best thing you can do is laugh. My cheeks hurt every time I'm around my dad. He never <laughs> stops, never stops with the jokes. I can't That's tell awesome. You can't pay, you know, we have a lot of jokers in the comments sometimes. And you can't tell, we're like, do you know these people? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love that your dad's watching. That's so sweet. Thanks, yeah. dad. <laughs> Actually, so my parents divorced when I was four, but my dad and my grandpa still talk on the phone. And my grandpa says my dad's his best friend. <laughs> Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet. That's be oh, I love that. Happy yeah. ending. We're we're the new normal, but <laughs> it keeps it interesting. That's Chief, awesome. Did that's you see the comment, Chief, from John Bayer? Uh, uh, go ahead and read. I think he said something about he put it through his Bose speakers. Yep, just listened on my Bose speakers. Wow, you Yay. have a beautiful voice. Thank you for supporting. Thank you. I, I will say I have a few artist friends in Nashville and as they kind of started to blow up or get some recognition, I noticed that they would work with Bose. And so when this opportunity came about, because I told my agency, anything with the military or army, sign me up. It's number one on my priority list of something I want to do. And when we had the Bose partnership, I was beyond ecstatic. I was like, if Bose is helping us out with this, then I must be doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are great people at Bose, to be honest. You know, they work really well with the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. We have a great partnership. And, and we thank, thank you to Bose for setting us up with artists. And, you know, they're hooking us up with other artists. And then I think we have some football players, some professional football players coming. So thanks to Bose, especially for introducing us to you, Renee. We, we appreciate it. It's great, great to meet you. Uh, you're, you're, you know, you're such a joy to work with, and we can see your passion and your enthusiasm through the through the Zoom. I can feel it. The feeling is mutual. You are just radiating a smile and positivity, and it it makes me feel a lot better. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Aww. So with that, I think we got time for one more, right? I okay, think do time. we do have time for one more? What, 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 does ahead. Renee have time for one more I, song? I, I certainly do. Um, you know, you guys just, one of the comments was asking about the songwriting process. So this next song, we'll close out the show, is called Soon As I'm Happy. And it is probably the most raw and vulnerable song I have ever written. There was a guy I was madly in love with and I told him, like, he, well, he basically tried to call it off and I was like, I don't think you want to do this. <laughs> and, and he was like, no, I'm not really feeling it. And I was like, well, you will. And when you when you do, it'll be too late. And he assured me up and down, he was never coming back, like no way. And of course, I am now in a happy relationship. I have been for a few years, but as soon as I found my person and fell in love with him, here came the ex creeping back in as soon as I was happy. Mm -hmm. 
So this song is called As Soon As I'm Happy, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> I turn on my favorite song when I wake up and gotta paint a smile on my makeup. Riding around with my windows down lately, I've been bulletproof. Feeling things I haven't been in a minute. I never want to leave this bed now that he's in it. And just when I'm good again, funny how I hear from you. As soon as I'm out there on the town, I'll be the time of my life. Walking tall, feeling higher than I have in a while. You got a way down on my parade now. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I go and find somebody that I actually like. I don't ever think about you, boy. That's when you decide you want to hold me. You got to have me. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, I'm happy. It took a lot of missing you, and I miss you. And being all alone, I wish I was with you. Of course, now you're at my door, thinking I'm going to open it. As soon as I'm out there on the town, I'm in the time of my life. Walking tall, I'm feeling higher than I have in a while. You've got to rain down. I'm up for it now. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I go and find somebody that I actually like. Now I don't ever think about you, but that's when you decide you want to hold me. You gotta have me. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I'm happy. Boy, you're crazy. Well, I don't want to go back to that mess you made me. No, it's too late. Got somebody. And I never got to wonder if he loves me. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I'm out there on the town, I'm in the town of my life. Walking tall, I'm feeling hot. Then I have in a while, you got to rain down on my parade now. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I go and find somebody that I actually like, now I don't ever think about you. That's when you decide you want to hold me. You gotta have me. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I'm happy. As soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I, as soon as I. Happy. Thank you guys. Outstanding. That awesome. Woo, that was you. fun to sing. I like that a lot. <laughs> I was trying to find that song online for the lyrics, but it didn't it didn't come up. Well, that is coming out shortly on the ones for your heart. So that will be oh. a couple oh, months from now. Yeah, we so was that like one. a premiere? Can we say yeah. that? Was there like a premiere? Yay. Yeah, I, I've tested it out on the road a little bit, but um, never on the internet for everyone to hear. So yeah, that was the internet debut. We like debuts. Yes. <laughs> we love well, them. I will say that was actually also the heating up my summer debut. I've never sang that before because we just put it out on Friday and we wrote it during quarantine. So you got double two. debut. Oh, wow. Yay. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. Like, you know, your premieres or whatever. That's great. Thank you. So Thank Michael you is asking, me. is it harder singing live or in the studio recording? Um, that's tough. I'm a perfectionist. So in the studio, if they let me try the same word for eight hours, I would still nitpick it. I'm very, very <laughs> meticulous. Um, but there's nothing like singing live, getting the look into the eyes of the crowd. It's, it's an adrenaline that I can't even explain or put into words. So I like them both for very different reasons. Um, I don't know if I could really pick, I would probably say 
play live. I just love to be around people. The people hype me up. You guys are hyping me up right now. So there you go. We're trying. Um, you're getting a lot of like the, of the applause emoji, including from Richard Wong and Veronica Mojica and Jen Huffman and Lori Gillespie. They're all giving you virtual applause. Well, mm-hmm. thank you guys. Here's a virtual hug. I can't, I can't wait to finally see you guys again in person. And one day life will go back to somewhat normalcy. Was that a piano in the background? Yes, that piano. is. Do you play or does Lenny play? Who plays? Yeah, we both uh, play a little bit of piano and guitar. I feel like in Nashville, especially with songwriting, it's easiest to start a song from the basic fundamentals of either a guitar or a piano. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm like a fantastic piano player, but I can definitely get by and probably have you fooled that I am. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Renee, thank you so much. Renee, it's truly been an honor having you with us today. Thank you for sharing your grandfather's story. And of course, thank him for his service on our behalf. We appreciate everything he's done for this country. Um, and thank you. Yes. Oh, and thank you for sharing your music too. Before we say goodbye, can you remind us where can our viewers go to get their copy of the Once to Slow Dance to and where we can find you on social media? Lay it all out, all the handles for, every, for everyone. Yes, on Spotify, Pandora, Apple, just type in Renee Blair on social media. It's at Renee Blair Music, except for Instagram. It is just at Renee Blair. But please, I encourage you guys and welcome any messages. I would love to chat with fans. It's something I miss being out on the road, getting to talk to new people every night. So please reach out. I would love to hear from all of you. And I can't thank you guys enough for having me. This was amazing. You have been like one of my favorite guests. Yeah, been so great. Yeah, you've been really great. I really, really enjoyed this today. Thank you for spending time with us. Well, thank you guys so, for having me, bro. Say, give a yeah. little wave. Good job, Lenny. Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, you're getting some feedback too. So, Judd says, great job, Lenny. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I will say one running joke with the family is my grandpa had to have the military cut the whole time. I think he's been bald and shaved his head since he was 25 and so my brother's got a nice man bun going and <laughs> it's the family joke that he's always like grandson you need to cut your hair <laughs> it's too funny well, thank you so much renee can you please stay, stay on we're gonna go off live just stay on for a couple minutes okay thank you so much. all right i'm gonna stop it bye guys thank you bye, guys. thank you for tuning in <laughs>